Welcome back to the Allen Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're going to do the second half of the Panel V1000E battery replacement video. So I got the board back this morning, and as you can see, there's a battery there, new battery, and it's a Panasonic, which is what the original manufacturer put in. And we'll just swing around here and uh, reassemble and power it up. So right back. Okay, and we're back. So, um, this is a static surface, and a static safe surface. We take our board, place it the correct way around, line up our screw holes, and take our screws that we took off the other day, get them started. Don't tighten anything down until you get them all started, because sometimes it's a little bit of play on these boards. There shouldn't be, but that doesn't mean there isn't. Now, normally, if I wasn't doing a video on this, I'd be right in front of it, not reaching over. Okay, seven screws in. Now we want to tighten them down. Snug, but not tight. You don't want to damage anything. Now that we've got those, the next step, you can plug in the uh, ribbon cable, and that just keeps this from flopping over while you're putting it back together. Take the two screws, again get them started first, and both of them. You don't have any problems and you don't uh, cross thread anything. Again, this stuff is just snug. It doesn't have to be really tight. Okay, so we're swinging around. We have this connector here, which comes from the power supply to the main board. This connector here, which comes from the uh, front end. I'm not sure what it does, but... That ha oh, this has to do with the, uh, with the backlight. This guy, just kind of push it back. It sits in there. That one. And that one. Now, before we put the final cover on, we'll take and put a tie wrap around that. And uh, we're ready to uh, add power to it. You can test these up without the uh, fan key switch. That doesn't hurt. So, I'll uh, just stop it for a sec here. Go get the power cord, data highway and everything else, and uh, be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I've got the uh, power cord on, I've got the data highway cable on, which is uh, we're going to do our upload-download, power it up, and flip it around, go through its startup procedure, Okay, so you see how 
did all kinds of strange things, bouncing back and forth and everything else. We'll just zoom in just a touch here. There we go. And it says, no current application file selected. So, now we have to go into... Okay, we're going to start that again. Okay, we're back. We're ready to power it up. Um, I've got the back off of it still and I've got the key switch on it and put the key in because once we get it uh, powered up you'll see we have to load an application so power it up and it's going to go through Let's zoom in just a bit And it makes all kinds of funny little noises and everything else. And there we go. Okay. So, as you can see on the bottom, our date is 1980. There's our firmware. Now, the reason we went through all this was the uh, battery was dead. So, hit battery, and it passes now with a new battery in and exit select application and in this case we're going to load in pulp 41 which is what we were using before and ok and date and time and it is 2 p.m. so that's 14 This is also a way you can be testing the uh, the touch cells for good response. And OK. So there's our current date and time, 2.36 p.m. And we hit run. There's a, uh, and we'll complain that there's nobody else on the highway. Okay, so there was a little problem there, and which I stopped for. Um, I had the highway cable plugged in, but my highway was turned off. Now, sometimes, and I'm still trying to research this and find out why, um, if you ha don't have the highway connected, and you load, depending on which uh, program you load into your 1000E, it will start cycling saying there's a firmware problem and I still don't know what that's about but uh, as long as you've got a good highway and a good highway connection um, things are fine so my next step on this is to finish putting the back pan on uh, screw it all down and uh, power it down let it sit for a few hours and make sure that there's we know the battery's good but it's always good to check it anyway and then uh, power it up and let it run overnight um, you can run these without the fan running for a while uh, it won't hurt anything but uh, they do make a lot of noise so if you want to leave them off that's not a big deal um, if you've got a ventilated room if you don't have good airflow uh, you may you want to make sure you've got airflow for these older units because these have CCFLs in the back which produce a lot of heat. So thanks a lot. Uh, subscribe if you'd like and come back anytime.